We covered the reports of Manchester United's first bid for Alvaro Morato, the Real Madrid striker, earlier this week. But in what is a fast developing story, there are lots of updates to give. Fabrizio Romano, as you know, part of Gianluca Di Marzio's staff, our most trusted source as far as Man United transfer news goes. He says that Manchester United have upped their bid from 52 million, which was rejected by Real Madrid, to 60 million. Some way short of the 78 million that Real Madrid actually want for the player. But here's the caveat. Manchester United are willing to pay more of that £60 million up front rather than fixing it over, say, a four or five year period of Morata's contract. With transfers like this, clubs like to spread the cost over a number of years because it reflects better on the balance sheet, reflects better on the profit and loss accounts. So as a business, it makes sense to split it over a number of years. From Real Madrid's perspective, they would like the whole lump sum up front. Now, it sounds like Manchester United are going to be moving towards doing more of that in order to give Real Madrid funds because they're looking to sign Kylian Mbappe. And if they want him, that's going to be like 135 million euros is the bid that's being linked with him. They're going to need a lot of money. And it sounds like Man United are willing to help Real Madrid in that and pay more upfront for Morata. It's quite a smart move from Manchester United, really, because it means that we probably can get Morata for less than the 78 million that Real Madrid want for him, which they really shouldn't get because he's not worth that. But... A very shrewd move because t transfers, you know, we're, we're only fans. We can only see what is being reported. But they're complicated things behind the scenes. And something as small as this can make such a subtle difference in a deal and push it through, especially with Real Madrid not really willing to negotiate with Manchester United after what has happened with David De Gea. But regardless of that, 60 million is a very fair price. I think it's a bit overinflated in the current market, but for a 24-year-old who's shown that he can score goals at the elite level, two Champions League finals, a great goal-scoring record last season with the Liga. He's got calibre, he's got quality, he's got consistency, and most importantly, he's got goals. And Man United need a goal scorer. It looks like Morata is hopefully going to be the one that Jose Mourinho brings in this summer. Morata was in action for Spain against Colombia on Wednesday night in an international friendly. He came off the bench just before the hour mark and just before full-time. He equalised for Spain with what was a very astute header. The ball was crossed in, Morata made a run to the front post and it was a deft finish right across the goalkeeper into the side netting. A goal scorer who can make runs to the front post would score so many goals at Manchester United. It really was an accomplished, brilliant finish from Morata. And I'm not just saying that because we are linked to him, but seriously, watch the video. It was a very good finish. And if Manchester United can get a striker in, as I said, that is willing to make those runs to the front post. So many crosses last season from Antonio Valencia. He made the most crosses in the Premier League, but there was hardly ever a striker on the end of them because Ibrahimovic tended to drop quite deep and Martial was obviously playing out wide left. If we can get someone like Morata and Rashford and get them to be in the box far more, we are going to get so many more goals next season. And that finish, very nice. Morata also spoke after the match. It was a 2-2 draw with Colombia and obviously he was asked about questions to do with himself, with James Rodriguez. And this is what he had to say about Rodriguez, obviously linked with a move to Manchester United as well. He said, who knows, maybe we'll be teammates next year. Hopefully James will not leave because I like him a lot. He is a great player. So will Morata and Rodriguez be teammates next year? Maybe not in the white of Real Madrid, but the red of Manchester United. We've obviously been linked with Morata and Rodriguez. And in the same report, Fabrizio Romano says that Rodriguez has a £60 million price tag on him. The exact same money we've just offered for Morata. But the suggestion from Fabrizio is that Man United aren't as interested in a deal for Rodriguez as they are for a deal for Morata. In the grand scheme of things, Morata is definitely more important. We need a goal scorer first and foremost in this transfer window, which is exactly why Mourinho is moving for one first before he secures hopefully a central midfielder and hopefully a centre-back. But Rodriguez and Morata, would you like to see both of them at Man United next year? It looks like Morata would still like to play with Rodriguez. Will that be at Manchester United? And is there a chance that Real Madrid would let both go without David De Gea going in the opposite direction? Because the suggestions now are that Real Madrid have dropped their interest in David De Gea. That's the reports that were coming out yesterday from Spain. And for me, it sounds like when you dump your girlfriend and then you quickly run and tell your mates first that you dumped her and it wasn't the other way around. Real Madrid might end their interest in David De Gea, but I'm not sure 
they were ever going to get him. The suggestion is that Zinedine Zidane wants to keep his squad together, the squad that won the double for the first time since the 1950s for Real Madrid. Clearly an excellent squad. But David De Gea is a supremely better goalkeeper than Keylor Navas is, no matter how good he is. So for the reports to suggest that Real Madrid have backed out the deal, it's effectively the same as Manchester United dropping their interest in Antoine Griezmann after Atletico Madrid got a transfer ban. You can say what you want, but I think we can all understand the truth. But back to Morata, it looks like £60 million is going to be Manchester United's second and final offer for the Real Madrid striker. I suggest you take that Real Madrid. You can do that. Pay for half of Kylian Mbappe. That'll be a good move for you and a great move for Manchester United because the more I read about Morata and the more I watch videos of him, the more I would like to see him in a Manchester United shirt. As always, leave your comments below. Anything you want to ask, get them in the comments. Drop a like on the video, people. See you soon.